Hello fellow Aussians, I'm Wizard of Oz collector and enthusiast, the Louisiana Quadling, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're looking at another of my favorite porcelain dolls from my collection. This Tin Woodman doll was designed by Phyllis Wright and released by Paradise Galleries in 2000. He was produced for only 100 firing days and originally retailed for 25 US dollars. The Tin Woodman was released as part of a six doll set in conjunction with the centennial of the wonderful Wizard of Oz. The Tin Woodman comes packaged in this pink shoebox style box with Paradise Gallery's logo on the front. There isn't anything on the box that specifies that he is a Wizard of Oz doll. The Tin Woodman stands approximately 14 inches tall. He is based off of the original illustrations by W.W. W. Denslow. He has a porcelain head, torso, hands, and feet. The rest of him, his legs and arms, are soft and have wires on the inside connecting everything together. You can pose him, but um, obviously his wires are just a little... Rusty, just one second, I'll get it. Yeah, he, he just, he just doesn't like to move today. It's fine. I need to get you some oil. I absolutely love the faces on these dolls. He looks like he stepped right out of the original book, especially the profile. Just look at that, I mean, it, it looks like he stepped right out of the illustrations. It's just great. All of these dolls had head sculpts that were not used on any other Paradise Galleries doll. His funnel is glued to his head, as is this silver ribbon around his collar. His head doesn't rotate. His head and torso are all one porcelain piece. It's a little bit of shame that Phyllis has designed the Tin Woodman so that his legs and arms are made of cloth. It would have been nice if the doll had been completely made of porcelain, a lot like Tanner's porcelain dolls, so that he could have a completely tin body. But um, instead of having this composite of both. But overall, he really does look great, and you can definitely tell that this is the Tin Woodman from The Wizard of Oz. The Tin Woodman's only accessory is his axe. And believe it or not, it's made of wood. I know, I know, back in the day when doll companies actually made things not out of plastic. That was a thing at one time. At one time. You'll need either a rubber band like what I've done here or some string so that the Tin Woman can hold his axe because unfortunately, his hands and the axe are not made so that he could hold it by himself. His hang tag shows the company logo on the front and includes information on how to care for the doll. All of my dolls from this set featured a sticker on the back with handwritten writing saying which doll you had in the set. And I'm not really sure if all of the dolls were issued this way or whether it was the previous owner who wrote that. I don't know. All of the dolls from this set included a white doll stand, and it's really nice whenever doll companies include a stand that's made just for the doll so that, and you know, you don't have to go out and search for a doll stand that actually fits the doll. It's really nice that they've included one. The Tim Woodman's Certificate of Authenticity is a little bit like a book, which is kind of appropriate, considering based off of the book. <laughs> the front shows Paradise Galleries, the name of the doll, and a picture of the doll on the right. The inside shows pictures of the other dolls from this set, minus the witches. On the left is the number of which doll you got. The back gives a little history of the doll company. The Tin Woodman would make an excellent addition to your Wizard of Oz collection. 
especially if you really, really like W.W. Dinslow and want more things based off of his illustrations. Definitely try and find this set. Unlike other doll sets that were released during this time, this particular set is really rare. Now, I know a lot of people throw around the word rare almost to the point where it, like, doesn't even have its meaning. And actually, if you want me to do a video talking about what makes a Wizard of Oz item rare or not, comment down below. I'd love to do that. Anyways, I can't give you an accurate estimate as to how much you'd have to pay for this doll or even all the dolls from this set because I haven't seen enough of them sell over the past decade. Sorry. And if you haven't checked out my other video on the Scarecrow doll from this set, make sure to check out that video as well. And if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe! New videos are posted every two weeks on the 15th and last day of each month. And if that doesn't satisfy your appetite for Oz, follow the link in the description to ozclub.org and join the International Wizard of Oz Club. Until next time, bye y'all.